Hey folks, and welcome to another news update at The Orwell Files. They say a criminal is worse if he pretends to be a saint. And that is absolutely true for a couple of personalities in Orwell. A German national who's at the helm of affairs in Orwell Council is also the executive of Isai Emblem Guesthouse and Isai Emblem Annex. Now, the Orwell Council as a body does not have any legitimate standing as per the Orwell Foundation Act. It is a group which is made by a couple of residents which seems to be meddling into affairs of everybody and anybody. What is not known to the public is that the buildings of these guest houses are actually built on Orville land and partly in his own private property. Now, the mother has said no private property in the master plan area. It is known that various complaints were given to the FAMC and working committee at that time, although to no avail. Now this guest house is registered under the Hospitality Trust and not under the Guest Houses Trust. It is also known that um, this private property is actually leased to Auroville, of which the beneficiaries are themselves. Links to the description of this Benami property and various other documents are given in the link below. It really seems that in Auroville, ethics and law do not play a role. So people are using the system to benefit themselves economically and uh, with a position of power, they are trying to run Auroville, which actually belongs to nobody in particular. It is a mystery that Aurovillians who are supposed to be servitors of the divine and Auroville to be a place without money has so much of greed, corruption and red tape. The union government is still mulling over the subject of criminal action while skeletons are overflowing from the closet. So folks, stay tuned to Orwell Files, where we make transparent things that are very opaque and hidden under layers of propaganda and flowery words. So catch you in the next episode. This is Vikram Ram signing off.